Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to quickly create a watermark of a signature that you could customize in any color and in any size, as well as a version that appears semi-transparent over any shade or tone, like my BLT watermark does in every video. The first step is to write your signature onto a piece of white paper with a pencil, pen, or fine point sharpie. One way you could get it into your computer is to snap a photo of it with your smartphone and make sure the phone is directly over the signature when you snap the photo. Don't shoot it at an angle. Then email the photo to yourself, save it onto your desktop, and then open it in Photoshop. Another way is to use your printer to scan the signature at its highest resolution and save the image onto your computer. Once you open it in Photoshop, we'll adjust its contrast by clicking the adjustment layer icon and clicking Levels. Let's zoom into the signature by pressing Z on our keyboard and dragging a rectangle over the area you want to zoom into. Drag the black input level slider to the right to darken the signature. If you see tiny gray dots on the white background, drag the white input level slider to the left until the dots disappear. Zoom back out by pressing Ctrl or Command-0. We'll convert it into a smart object so we always have the original signature intact. To do this, shift-click the signature to make it active as well and click the icon at the upper right. Click Convert to Smart Object. Open your rectangular marquee tool and drag it over the signature. Go to Edit and Define Brush Preset. When you see this window, type in Signature or whatever name you'd like to identify it with. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. Open an image that you'd like to place the signature onto. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. To resize the signature, make sure your Caps Lock key is off and press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. Click once on your image to stamp the signature over it. Presently, the color of the signature is whatever your foreground color is. If you want to show some of the background through it, just reduce its opacity. To change the signature's color, you can either click the foreground color to open the color picker and pick a different color, or you can double click the layer to open its layer style window. Click Color Overlay and click the color box. Pick whatever color you want. Then click OK on both windows or press Enter or Return twice. Next, I'll show you how to make it into a watermark that's legible over white, gray, and black. Open your Channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Click the circular dotted icon at the bottom to make a selection of the signature. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. Open back the Layers panel and make a new layer. We'll fill the selection with 50% gray. To do this, press Shift plus the F5 key at the top of your keyboard to open the Fill window. You could also go to Edit and Fill. Open the Contents list and choose 50% gray. Deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Make a new layer below the top layer by control clicking or command clicking the new layer icon. We'll fill the empty layer with white. Open the fill window again and this time click white. Click the top layer to make it active and convert it into a smart object. If you wrote the signature with a sharpie like this one and its stroke thickness is wider than a pencil stroke, we'll thin it out by going to Filter, Other, and Maximum. Make the radius 1 pixel and the preserve roundness. We'll strengthen it by pressing Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of it. Shift click layer 2 to make it active as well and convert the two layers into one smart object. Double-click an empty area of the top layer to open its layer style window. 
Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is outer bevel, the technique is chisel hard, and the depth is 50%. The direction is up, the size is 2 pixels, and the soften is 0. The angle is 145 degrees, and the altitude is 25 degrees. The contour is linear, the highlight mode is normal, the color is white, and the opacity is 100%. The shadow mode is normal, the color is black, and the opacity is also 100%. Click Contour. The contour is linear, and the range is 50%. If you reduce the fill to 0%, you'll see that the inside of the signature becomes invisible, but its bevel and emboss effect remains visible. We'll make the fill 50% to make the inside semi-transparent. Convert this layer into a smart object. Open an image and drag the signature watermark onto its tab. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. Adjust its size with your transform tool. I'll make a copy of it and drag it over a dark area so you can see that the watermark also shows well over it. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.